This is Ben Lecours, Senior Consultant and Blogger for System Center Dudes. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install and purchase our reports. So, the first thing you need to know for our reports is that they are available as a single product or as a bundle. The bundle simply contains multiple report files. So, now I'm connected in my lab and let's say that I purchase a single product. The only thing I need to do is to connect my reporting point. Some of you may say, why do I need to connect my reporting point in a web browser? Why simply not just use the SCCM console? Well, the answer is simple. The SCCM console doesn't allow to upload custom report directly from the console. If I go to the console, in the monitoring pane, into the reports, I right click, there is no option to upload a custom RDL file. If I select create a report, there's really no option there. So I cannot do that from the SCCM console. So to do that, simply type in HTTP slash slash with the name of your reporting server slash reports. Let's do that. Once you're connected on your report server, simply create a new folder to host our custom RDL files. To do that, use the new button and click folder. I've already pre-created a SCD folder and extract all the RDL files in it. How do you import those RDL files? Simply click upload. And select your RDL file. It will show up in your report folder. The only thing left to do is to change the data source for the SCCM server. This is because by default, your report won't find the data source for SCCM server. So if we go into the asset BitLocker status, click manage, into data source, just select share data source, find your configuration manager underscore site code folder. And at the bottom, you'll have the SCCM data source which is always 5C6. So you select that one, click save, and your report is ready to run. Real easy. Some of you will say, hey, do I have to do that on all the files? Of course not. We've developed a PowerShell script to do that. I'll leave the link below the video. So you can use the PowerShell script to do that for you pretty easily. Let me explain a bit about our naming convention. So as you can see, we have different categories of reports. So we've got assets, we've got configuration manager, dashboard, deployments, and system health. So what's the difference between an asset, a configuration manager, and a dashboard report? Pretty simple. The asset is all related to the inventory. So all assets reports refer to the inventory of SCCM. Configuration manager is all part of things in the console. The collection, co-management, CMG client, boundary groups, uh, software updates. So it will show you information that you have also into the console. The dashboard is really main overview of your inventory. I'll show you that later. The deployment one are pretty basic, so they are showing deployment statistics. And the system health is all related to the health of your SCCM site. So it makes sense. So let's start with the asset Windows 10. So once uploaded and the data source is changed, I just simply click on a report and it just run really quick. In this report, you can see uh, relevant information about all my Windows 10 device. Uh, what you need to know is that this is a pretty um, new site that I built just for this video, so I don't have much client, but you, you can get the point of, uh, of all our reporting. So at the top, you see our basic header. We usually put some pie chart uh, showing you a great overview of your, of your machine. And at the bottom, we have the, the line which show all relevant information. Let's say I had uh, a thousand of device, they will all be listed there. So here I have a device, Windows 10, 
is uh, Windows 10 edition, its version, build number. Is it currently supported? Uh, it's locally. So uh, really great information. And the good thing about that is that the report is also scoped by collection. So I can select any collection just to show uh, relevant information about this collection. So now let's go see another one. So we go back to a CD. Um, let's say if I want to see some information about software. So which software is installed on my machines? Um, let's, let's go see in all system. The search will allow to search for a specific software. So in that case, I will just enter the sign will, which will show all the software. So it will basically tell me every software that is installed in my inventory right now. And if I click the number of total here, it will list me which machine has the specific software. Pretty interesting. Let me show you the asset hardware report. We'll show information about our hardware. So once again, there's a search there. I can search for a specific machine or show it all. So I, I decide to show it all. As in all our report, there's pie chart for operating system model chassis type. And at the bottom, I can see my Windows 10 machine is there. Um, the CPU. The disk model. It's less as hardware scan. And the top 10 of all our machine. Let's uh, go to the configuration manager uh, section. So in the configuration manager, let me show you the collection first. This is a great report showing information about our collection. We can see that I have in my site, I have a 115 collection, 83 are empty. There's collection without deployment, collection with less than five members. I also show uh, the refresh type. So pretty interesting if you need to find um, which collection or incremental update which can cause some problem with evaluation. Um, and at the bottom, all our collection are listed there with their members, the number of deployment, their variable, their query rules, and their ev eval time. So you can also use that to see which collection are too long to evaluate. This is the configuration manager collection report. Let me show you a dashboard. So this is the kind of dashboard we've, we've built. So it's, this one is a, a clear overview of all your SCCM server. So you can see that our site is a CD. Um, the build version of the site, the type of the site, it's a primary site, it's active, um, and it's install directory. I can see that there's uh, actually four open console. Um, there's system with console, there's two. All the resources, so four resources, four clients. We also have some statistics about the, de the application deployment, uh, the task sequence, and everything is linked. So if you've bought the, um, the complete bundle and I've clicked on the application, it will bring me in the application reports. If I click on task sequence, it will show me information about the task sequence. So software update, client help, number of clients that are active, the number of collection. So once again, I've just show you the, the collection report. So if I click on that, it will just bring me back to this uh, report. And at the bottom, there's information about our hardware. Once again, we'll sh we, it will send me to the hardware report I just show and a graphical view of all my machines and my distribution point. So this dashboard is really an overview of the SCCM site. The system health. 
section is kind of interesting also. Um, we have a report for the clients. So once again, I can, I, I can scope it through a collection. I can show just a specific client version, if it's installed or not, if it's active, inactive, unknown. And when I show the report quickly, I see that I have four clients. I see their activity. So this machine have not talked to my server since a long time and it's error code also. So if you are doing client deployment, this, uh, this report can be really useful to achieve a high success rate on your deployment. And let me show you a last one. When I say that all report our link, let's, let's start for the asset windows then. So as I just said, if you bought the complete bundle, if I click the Windows 10 name, it will just uh, send me to the dashboard device, which is an overview of the inventory of this machine. So I've clicked the Windows 10 01 machine, bring me all the inventory of that machine. This report is packed with information from system, user, software updates. It says CCM client uh, details, which collection it's part. Is it uh, part of, uh, of a cloud management gateway? Um, disk, video, Office 365, there's really lots of information there. So that's the end of the demo for today. If you have a specific needs and there's a report that we haven't built yet, just let us know and we'll make a pleasure to develop it for you. If you like this video, please use the like button or subscribe to our channel. Thank you.